We know that the formation of compressible waves such as shocks and expansion waves are common observation in supersonic compressible gas flows. Using steady state, continuity, momentum and energy equations, mathematical relations can be developed to describe the flow behavior across these isolated normal shocks, oblique shocks and expansion waves. These shock and expansion relations help us estimate the flow properties such as Mach number, density, pressure and temperature just downstream of these waves based on the upstream conditions. However, in most engineering applications, these waves seldom occur in isolation. Multiple families of shock and expansions can be generated in the flow over a realistic object, leading to complex flow dynamics. Moreover, waves interact with one another and their surrounding environments such as the object surface. These interactions can lead to fascinating phenomena including wave reflections, cancellations and intersections. The shock and expansion relations developed for isolated conditions can be put to good use to analyze more complex flows with multiple shocks and expansions. These relations are useful in understanding the flow behavior during wave interactions. In this course, we will extend the analysis of oblique shocks and expansion waves to gain engineering insights into classical applications such as supersonic flow over a diamond airfoil, flat plate airfoil and curved symmetric airfoil and estimate forces acting on these airfoils using the shock expansion theory. We will derive a simplified but accurate approximation of the shock expansion theory for thin airfoils with low angles of attack and compare predictions obtained by this approximation with the exact theory. We will also learn about wave interactions and mathematically describe different types of interactions. Most shock and expansion waves can be treated as stationary with respect to the object's frame of reference and a steady state analysis is sufficient to describe their physics. However, there are situations where waves are intrinsically transient, such as waves generated by a sudden release of energy. We will see that the analysis of such transient waves can take advantage of a steady shock expansion theory. Such an analysis of a transient shock will be illustrated using the classical sword shock tube problem, where different pieces of wave theory will be put together to derive a complete solution.